Cindy, Dancing in the Desert, presented by Jemco. Welcome back. It was tough last night. The Purdue men's basketball team, they're on their way back to West Lafayette right now after a disappointing loss in the national championship game. Yeah, the team will arrive at the Purdue airport this evening, and that's where we find our news aides, Danielle Zakoski. Danielle, what can you tell us? Well, we are expecting the Boilermakers right back here in West Lafayette in the next hour or so after putting up a really good fight against UConn out in Glendale, Arizona last night. Now, we spent all afternoon talking to fans on Purdue's campus who they say they were disappointed with the loss. That's obvious, but they say they, they saw a lot of hope from this team and they're hopeful for the future. Many pointed out that they had a slow build over really the last 40 years since their last appearance in the final. Final Four, and Matt Painter has a dedication to getting local talent to stay in Indiana, and some point to that being a big part of their success. Students and staff say this is not the end for the basketball program and think next season will also bring great opportunities. The effort was there, like even getting like to the national championship was such like a good effort on their part since we haven't done it in what's 40 some odd years. So the hustle was there, the heart was there. And many of the fans we talk to say, well, it is sad Zach Eady will be leaving Purdue this year. There still is a lot of talent left on that team, and they have a lot of hope that they will make a run just like this one next year. Now, we are expecting the Boilermakers to touch down here between 6 and 6.15 this evening. We will be here all evening waiting for them as they make their return to West Lafayette. I'm Danielle Zolkowski for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook for updates. All right, Daniel, thank you. Sports anchor Angela Morianne joining us now. Mm -hmm. Angela, not what you wanted last night. No. Um, but still, it shouldn't be overlooked. This was a, a fantastic season for this team. Historic season for Purdue. So many records broken, individual and team records in this program. Nothing to hang your head about. Yes, the loss is disappointing. you got to keep your head held high if yeah. you're a Purdue fan or a Purdue player. The curtain now closed on the historic season for the Purdue Boilermakers. Last night's loss to UConn in the national championship left the Boilers one win shy of their preseason goal. Still, Purdue won more games this season than any other in program history and got the closest they've been to hanging a national title banner in the last 55 years. Not even a 37-point, 10-rebound performance by National Player of the Year, Zach Eady, could elevate the Boilers over the Huskies. UConn took command in the second half, becoming the first back-to-back -back national champion since 2007. It was an emotional scene in the Boilers' locker room, knowing they were so close to hosting that trophy, especially for Edie, who has now played his last game in a Purdue jersey. I'm so proud um, of everybody on this roster. Uh, the way that we 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 came back after that loss, um, like we we've heard everything. Every time we stepped in an away gym, we heard everything. Every time you go on social media, you, you hear everything and you see everything. Uh, and it never affected us. Uh, we stayed professional. We never responded. We never let it change us. Um, like we're the same people. Uh, like nothing, nothing got us out of who we are. Um, and we, we continue to battle that adversity on the court. And we continue to, to let that motivate us. And I'm so proud of the way that everybody on this team um, responded in this season. Truly so much to be proud of for the Purdue Boilermakers with a future that is very bright with a couple of freshmen or sophomore rather next year junior guards and Fletcher lawyer Braden Smith. Matt Painter, it was his first time ever coaching in the final four. Our Anthony Calhoun went one on one with him post game. See his reaction to the disappointing loss coming up at six. I'll see you then. OK, looking forward to it, Angela. Thank you. Sticking with Purdue hoops for a moment as a defensive stopper and timely scorer on Purdue's Big Ten championship team in the 90s. Roy Hairston uh, has not just seen the school's NCAA tournament disappointment storyline before, he's actually lived it. Hairston joined Daybreak this morning to walk us through his emotions after last night's loss. You know, you just pull for him and hope that they're able to do something that you were never able to do because one thing that uh, Coach Katie um, instilled in all of us is that, you know, we ballers for life. You know, we're always there to support. I'm down there at least two, three times a year. And you see some other guys, some other former players down there. And we're just excited as if we were playing the game. And we're sitting in the stands and, and, and watching those guys go out there and perform. So we all happy and, and um, um, you know, hopeful for the next week to come along. And, you know, just wish these guys the best. 
And if you want to watch the full interview with the former Boilermaker, just scan the QR code on your screen. That will take you to the As Seen On section of our website, wishtv.com.